Good morning. Well, that's not how I expected to come home from vacation. So now it's been a couple of days since I came home and I said, welcome back. But I got home, my girlfriend was in the hospital and she was actually readmitted to the hospital. And so I was there helping her. So anyways, I got home from vacation, turned around, ran to the hospital. And then I got home and it's been just all hands on deck. Anybody else like back to school, full fledged. I end up ordering, we live like out in the country. So I ended up ordering a bunch of shoes. So I ordered like a million pairs of shoes. And so yesterday we had to go take all of the kids shoes back to Target to return the ones that we didn't keep. We were leaving for vacation. I was laughing that like, I don't know how this happened, but like <laughs> my shoe wardrobe is so sad. And so, okay, tell me what you think and tell me quickly because I have to return them if we don't keep them. These ones, these ones, anyone flashback Keds, anybody? And and then a redo of my other shoes. I never get shoes, but they were 20% off. So mommy got some shoes. Yeah, Chloe went into heat and like pretty much the day we came home, we would love for her to have a litter of puppies, but I am realizing my life and this is not the moment and the time, even though part of me wishes like, I kind of want to. We're gonna have a calf and just too much this, this time around. Three baskets. They were like $1.50 each and I needed to get a basket and I needed three. That's three thank you notes. Cause when we were gone, our vacation literally almost turned into a nightmare for us. Let's go outside and I'll tell you the story. Okay, before we go outside, quick question. <laughs> Philip goes, can you think of other things? Nothing wrong with your bandanas, but can you think of like maybe other ways to do your hair to like cover up? Normally I'm covering up sweat. Right now I'm covering up my, uh, it just feels better with like a hat on. Like it's not as uh, like itchy feeling. Maybe it catches, it's sweaty outside guys. But um, I like the bandana, but I'm thinking, do you guys have like a favorite either, I don't know, headband or hat uh, places that you guys like to shop? How long can you shop with kids? I felt like we did a very good job, but we were hustling to get through all the things that we needed that leisurely shopping didn't happen. We literally like go into town to go to Costco every month and a half, two months or so. So it's a big trip. And normally when we go into town, like we will only do Costco. And the fact that we did two stores, the kids were awesome. We didn't get home until 8.30. It was- A disaster. No, you guys did amazing. I was actually very proud. It was actually proud. very fun. It was fun. Yeah, we had a really good day. Weed whacking the 34 inch grass. Yeah. It's itching my feet. Also, Buttercup loves the grass. Also, I think she got stung by the wasp that stung me. Sneak peek, the story I'm about to tell you is about Buttercup. If you uh, aren't here for the farm stories, that's the sneak peek of what I'm about to share with you. But we came into the garden. Oh, look at these. <gasps> Woo! If you didn't watch our last vlog, the we're back vlog, I came around the garden and showed you so many fun things. But I do have to say, since a couple days ago, I pruned and tied up the tomatoes. Do you remember right down here? It's amazing. Walk, go ahead, Watkins. Look, you can walk. Can it was walk. a full jungle. I you could not I actually walk through here. You would have to crawl on the bottom. It's so pretty though. I mean, it's still arched over because they're so tall. Like this is actually just, it doesn't have a place to go. So it's, it's just coming back jungle. down. It's a jungle. But Philip's starting to get to weeding because all my cold winter stuff has to go in my fall harvest. This is still so cool to me. This is like my little favorite part right here. And I will show you once I'm done collecting all of them. I am not harvesting these. I am letting them all go to seed. And so far I have a big Ziploc bag full. Wow. 
Mama, tell okay. them about one buttercup. Tell them about one buttercup. That's the story that we need to get to. Oh, wow. So why don't we start by doing a few clips of our vacation and then the clip of me pacing. I'm about to tell you our vacation disaster story, but uh, we just came out this morning and Buttercup's eye is swollen. Philip panicked and told me, she has pink eye. And I looked at it and I said, that's not pink eye because pink eye would be red and drainage, you know, just it would be an infection. It just looks very swollen. And I said, it kind of looks like a bite that's swollen but I just didn't think like a fly would make it that swollen but maybe I was thinking really close to her eye and then Philip got stung on the side of our house by a wasp a couple weeks ago man we weren't vlogging during that little period right before we left on vacation and his eye like swelled shut oh my goodness it was so bad and he wasn't doing anything it made me very afraid of wasps like he literally wasn't bothering it and it came and stung him near his eye and it really swelled up and what's over by her watering bowl, her little watering trough right there, there's a whole collection of wasps. So I think there's a little nest somewhere over there. So at least we know it's not an infection. It's gonna go down. It's probably so uncomfortable. I'm gonna go show you her right now. But her poor eye, it's like a golf ball. It's so sad. Daddy paste. Daddy paste it. Okay, you go fix that. Stand back. Everyone back up. Don't get stung, Daddy. Okay, Buttercup, do you want to come show them your eye? No, I'm eating. Uh, we actually are getting fit, ready to move her right now. It's kind of the culprit of what led to, possibly, what led to our vacation nightmare. Oh, good girl, Mama. You want to come in the shade, sweetheart? Yeah, it's off. You're good. Come here, honey. Let's see, can we see in the shade? Come here. Can you show them your eye? Oh, horsefly. Oh, so since I've gotten home, she has been like, she'll just stay right there and just enjoy some good scratches. Can we show them your face, little honey? Come here. Come here, up here, look. Can you see right here? It's like a golf ball, but no drainage, um, no redness. So I'm not thinking it's pink eye. What is this tripod in my field? Yeah, three seconds. Always dirty. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical, guys. She's smelling the tripod. Hi. Oh. Not my hat. 
Oh, also crazy story. We lost another guinea last night. We were down to four. We want a lot more guineas, so I think we might end up ordering another round of them. Oh, Buttercup's gonna scratch herself on the tripod. That's not safe, baby. Can I sit on Buttercup? No, she's pregnant. We're gonna let her be. When she's not pregnant? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Oh, that good girl. Oh, that's cute. Oh, your poor eye. Owie, you wanna be just like daddy? So, we were on vacation and it was towards the end and we got a text message that morning that said that Buttercup was not in her field, that she was gone. And I didn't realize how much my cow feels like one of my babies, but I was pacing. We had a really hard time. So we had a farm sitter. Our farm sitter was wonderful, no issues, but we needed to maybe move her and she was going to be moved that evening, but she had already escaped and her fence was on. We genuinely don't know how she got out other than she puts her, oh, hi. <laughs> Here, I'll scratch you, but other than she probably just put her nose under so we didn't know what to do I, I, it ended up being all hands on deck and you know what it really showed me how incredible my husband is he has built just relationships he has gotten to know our neighbors and he's just mr. personable like I I don't know how you meet Philip and not just fall in love with him. He's just so great and he's so genuine and he's so loving and he really genuinely cares about others and he just wants to listen to their story and which is so great because when we needed help, our neighbors jumped in and saved the day. Our neighbor down the way that we get our hay from, their family has been here for 80 years. That's me. He gets in his side by side and starts going to all of the neighbors to ask, has anyone seen Buttercup? And our next door neighbor has was looking all through their property. We ended up finding out that she had gotten behind the home that is not necessarily our next door neighbor, but like right there and stayed the night back there. And it was one of those where the whole day felt like in anticipation and felt like well, if she was back there, like we missed that, that mark of them letting their landlord know that there was a cow now on their property because the landlord is our next door neighbor. And so we missed the mark of finding Buttercup that evening. And then my friend that is just down the way ends up piling her kids in the car and drives the block on the farms that are around us to go look. Now, this is such like, an emotional roller coaster to find Buttercup. And our farm sitter finally messages us and says, we think we found her. She's next door. Let me send you her picture. And she said, if it's not her, it's a strong lookalike. And, and we, it was such a roller coaster of feeling like we found her. We didn't find her. We found her. We didn't find her. And they sent us that picture and we said, that's not her. It's a brown and white cow, but that's not her. And it, it, it had paint splats, but it, Buttercup doesn't have paint splats. It, it paint splats. Oh, and just a heads up, um, people are gonna ask, does Kinsley now have glasses? No, no they just mm. pretend. We found them at Target yesterday. So this is a couple hours in and Philip, oh, sorry. So this is a couple hours in and Philip says, okay, I'm getting in the car, I'm going. Our neighbor who the family has been here forever said, don't come home. You are hours and hours away. Cows show up. It might be a couple days, but they'll show up. We're like, you don't understand. Like, this is our, like, are you okay? He's just burning oh. the... Oh, okay. So Philip is so close of getting in the car. We were feeling it out and we said, let's just try to wait a few more hours and, and then we'll decide should we head home or not. I was so sad if we were going to leave because because the vacation wasn't over and we were going to stay for a week. Yeah, so our vacation was not over. 
but we, we were trying to figure out, should we come home or not? So we're looking at our neighbor's property all over of where she was the night before. They couldn't find her. We were hoping, oh, she's gonna show up down at their pond. She doesn't show up. The farm sitter and their siblings were here and we ended up pulling some of our trail cams to try to look to see, did she go up the hill? Did she go that way? Uh, we knew she went that way, so we were thinking, okay, she's gotta be somewhere in there. <sighs> hours and hours later, we end up having our neighbor down there. Our next door neighbor recommended going over to the next farm that was kitty corner to, to theirs. We ended up telling our farm sitter where to go to look at that farm, and they went over there and they couldn't see the property, no one was home, and they felt like they saw a lot of the cows and she wasn't there. So we are at this standstill feeling like our precious, precious baby is like, where is she? We just, I can't describe the panic and like just anxiety. Because if Buttercup would have gone away, we wouldn't have a baby cow. Uh-huh. And then they asked us, okay, how close is she to delivering? Because sometimes cows want to go away to deliver and then they'll show up, they'll come back. But she's not due until November. And so we, we crossed that out. That couldn't be it. Then we ended up finding out that we were at the wrong house and we went over to the farm that was three farms over. And they found Buttercup. They messaged us and called us and we were all celebrating, but it wasn't over. It's a big property. I mean, we, we have a smaller acreage, but around us are bigger farms. And so for an hour, they are trying to corner Buttercup and she just, she's kind of a fast little runner. She's just like a little teenager. She kind of gallops away. And so they finally ended up cornering her. Here, I'll back up so they can see you. They ended up cornering her and got her halter on her so they could lead her. And our neighbor down the way ended up going to borrow a horse trailer to pick Buttercup up and drive her back here because it is a pretty long distance to try to walk her all the way back here. We were so afraid that what if she had gotten up on the road? What if she had gotten hit? Like what could have happened? but she had just made her way. And what's such a bummer is most of our property is actually pretty enclosed, but there are a few chunks where the perimeter is has fallen limbs on it and, and there are some openings. So we realized on our trip that we need to prioritize closing off our perimeter of our fence to give her that extra security. If she does get out, that she will still be contained within our property but Buttercup went and hung out with other cows. It's the, our next door neighbor used to have cows, but doesn't. Across the way, we thought she was over there. The lookalike, she didn't end up at that farm. She ended up at that farm with other cows. And so because she got to be with some buddies. And so it is our heart where I would love to get another cow just so she can have a buddy. But then once she delivers in November, I just want to make sure that we have enough pasture for three. I mean, the mom baby pair technically can be counted as one, but then if we get another full size cow, we want to make sure that our pasture is not overworked and is lush for Buttercup. And so we're just trying to hold out. We just spend a lot of time with her. We are her buddy for now. And let me turn towards her. She's hanging out with the guineas. Oh, you probably can't see with the bright. You can see her a little bit. There she is. So after all of that, she technically wasn't very many properties over, but she was just acres and acres and acres and acres and acres away. Oh my goodness. And I, it, I felt so bad for everybody involved. They were so kind. They were so, we. they were so kind. They all helped, they all pitched in. And so I have some gardening harvesting to do to send some harvest thank you baskets. Hopefully if I can get to making some homemade bread, if not, I will bring it over to them later and make a little basket of a thank you because 
they got us our cow back and our cow it's 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 not like we have just a bunch of beef cow that like are just kind of on our pro like she is our family member like she is just we love her and we thought she was gone forever forever like we were so so nervous and so they ended up adding an extra strand of of poly tape to our fence but honestly i don't think she didn't get, go through the middle i sometimes she just noses underneath and has gone underneath it so I don't know. We we're gonna have to figure this out. We well, what, how we figure it out is making our permanent fence around our whole property secure, and then if she does get out of her her paddock, her pasture, the electric fen fence is just so she can graze in areas. So that way, the grass has time to rest. We want it to rest, become this lush grass, and then she can go eat that section. So that's the whole point of why we rotate in here. But oh my stars, I cannot even describe how big of a nightmare it was. We thought our vacation was over. We thought our precious cow that we really, it, she is our biggest investment of animals and we thought she was gone. And not just her, her and her baby. Like that is a two for one special cow over there. Oh, Callie and Cassidy are in the garden. I wonder how many ground cherries are gonna be eaten. <laughs> So she really mostly wants to get out if she wants to go find some more food. So we're gonna be moving her fence today and move her up towards the front of the house where she hasn't been in a little while. Did you see anything else about her escaping? How did you feel when she was escaping when we were at the vacation? I was nervous, uh -huh. I was anxious. Uh -huh. No one was like, Philip and I didn't eat breakfast. I, we were just pacing around uh, I constantly. Didn't eat breakfast. On, you didn't eat breakfast either? No, we were so nervous. So this could have made us worried for days. Praise the Lord that we it was. We found her in one day. We did. So it was. We discovered her missing bright and early in the morning, and she was found probably after lunchtime or so, and got back to our farm a little bit later. But man, you guys. Life has just been so different since starting a hobby farm and it's so good, but everyone says that there are stresses that kind of come that you learn and you experience and you don't expect. And I am just so thankful that this didn't end up in a, a loss, that she didn't get hit by a car or something horrific like that. Um, but she is home and she is happy. I mean, how could how could the fence be on and how could she see in the night time? I don't know. Yeah, she probably smelled the water, found some water, went, out, went and checked out some more grass and then wanted to go hang out with some buddies. Some cows. Some cows. But her calf is going to be a buddy. Her calf is going to be her buddy and we're very excited. I want a calf to play with. Oh, well we have to be careful because the, the calf is going to have a lot of energy. How and do so, you know? Because calves are a little bit wild. They're a little Even unpredictable. Bulls. And bulls and baby heifers. They so I wonder cute when they went around. They are. Hi, Buttercup. Are you happy with your new grass? I, she is very happy with her new grass. Uh, I cannot end this vlog without showing you that her eye is better. I just couldn't bring myself to post that uh, without showing you. Uh, I think for sure, indeed, it was a wasp sting. Guys, look at our pretty face. See, no more swollen eye. Yeah. I think we just got that ugly wasp sting on our eye and now it's all better. I'm, I'm waiting for my pet, huh? <laughs> Mommy, give me pet. <laughs> you sweet girl. Oh yeah. Good girl. Look, we've actually really learned manners. She will just gently put her head against me instead of headbutt me as much as she did, except for I was editing this video and I laughed when she uh, butt bumped me. She was like, I was standing right in front of her and she gave me a nice little boop in the bum bum. Okay, oh, you wanna come, sweetheart? Hey, mom, where are you going? We just talked about this, you're my buddy. So, but to explain everything, 
She has not even tried to get out since we've been home. She has sneaked under the wires before and just gone over somewhere else. And she hasn't done any of that. So I don't know what happened, but we're just thankful that she's home. We're thankful for everybody in our community that helped us. Um, and it is helpful when I edit for to make sure that I touch on everything. My girlfriend who I went to go help, she is home. She's doing great. So I just wanted to also throw that out there. And my sweet girl. Hi, mama. I know, you hate the spray though. And this one's not working. So I think it might have probably got left outside. Uh, it's not in an amber bottle. So I'm assuming maybe it kind of messed with the essential oils a little bit. And then when we were gone, we did end up giving her a big pile of hay just to make sure that she wasn't going to get disgruntled of not having enough food. So she had enough food. Let's be very clear for everybody. She had the food. She just somehow got out. But our vacation was very lovely. I didn't realize how badly our family needed a little bit of a, a breath and a break and it felt really good. Now we're back at home and it actually feels really good to be home too. We have built our dream life and this might not be the dream life for everybody. And we remember seasons where we never imagined that we would enjoy farm chores like we do now. And so maybe right now you're just coming on this journey because it kind of feels good to get out into nature every once in a while whether you enjoy this lifestyle or this is your lifestyle or not. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our family. It really means the world to us. And we are excited for what's to come this year. So if you guys don't wanna miss it, you can hit that subscribe button or go follow us on social media. Um, I'm gonna to try to get more active on the Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, taking a break over there felt really good too. So if you've never taken a break from social media, I, from here on social media, I am here to also encourage you to be the best for you, and I am telling you, the best for you is to take breaks from social media every now and then. So hopefully that you have had a chance to do that, and you all are getting excited with this back to swing, getting ready for fall, and kind of making some new exciting goals, and maybe just watching your jog, enjoy some grass time, and rolling around. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Let your love multiply. Bye, guys.